Well, what a night it was. But before I begin, I just want to thank all of you guys for tuning into my video for my reaction to the great Kali's return. Getting over 20,000 views is pretty awesome, and I really didn't expect that. And I'm a little upset. I had a lot more videos from that night, but unfortunately I woke up this morning and they were blocked by WWE. However, it is what it is. Let's just get going on to this review. What is up, my all things WWE family? It is Brandon here, and if this is your first time visiting the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, as well as a little bell notification to get all the updates on this channel. All right, so Battleground 2017 started with the kickoff match featuring Aiden English versus the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. I'm a little upset with this match because Ty Dillinger should be on the main card. And I know that a lot of people have some hype around Aiden English, but I just don't know where he's gonna fall on the card in the future. And as the match unfolded, Aiden English came up with the victory on this. I was a little upset because it should have been Ty Dillinger. Then on to the main card, it started off with the defending tag team champions, the Usos versus the New Day. So watching this live, this match was absolutely incredible and it looked like it could go either way. And for the most part, a lot of people predicted that the Usos would have retained the tag team championships. But as fate had it, the New Day went ahead and secured their win and they are the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And this is their first SmackDown Tag Team Championship run. So we'll see how this is gonna play out. And I'm actually pretty excited for it. Then there was the great Shinsuke Nakamura versus the Money in the Bank, Baron Corbin. Personally, I was just excited to see Shinsuke Nakamura compete in this match. This man's entrance is always incredible and that itself is a show. But as Baron Corbin made his way to the ring, this man showed why he is the Money in the Bank winner. But I'm a little upset he took a cheap shot out. And although my boy Shinsuke Nakamura won this match, he unfortunately won by a disqualification because Baron Corbin thought it was appropriate to hit somebody where, uh, where the sun doesn't shine. But in all, this match was definitely a good one. Now moving over to the women's division, there was a five-way elimination match featuring Natalia, Tamina, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and unfortunately, Lana. I actually did a reaction to this video you can check out on my channel. This match kind of threw everybody off. No one expected that Natalia was going to take this win tonight. And I mean, for what it's worth, Natalia has worked pretty hard over the last few years, and I think she's well deserved of this title shot. But something tells me heading into SummerSlam, somehow, I don't think she's going to win that match. And I was a little upset because I wanted Charlotte Flair to win this match. She needs to be thrusted back into the main title spot. However, in all, it was a good match, and let's see how this plays out at SummerSlam. Then it was time for the face of America, Kevin Owens, to take back his United States Championship against AJ Styles. So this match, I was personally calling for AJ Styles to retain his championship. But as we all saw that night, Kevin Owens took the belt. Which makes me wonder, why did WWE even give this title to AJ Styles then? All I know is I hope that it's not hot potato with this championship. And we'll see what happens going forward, but I better see AJ Styles get that title back. Moving over to Russia versus USA, John Cena versus Rusev. So this was a very patriotic match, and a lot of the comments in the audience was, uh, let's just say not the best appropriate. I gotta admit, I'm not a big fan of John Cena, but he put on a pretty good match. And they knew how to entertain the crowd when they came up to the ramp. And seeing Rusev go straight to that table was absolutely awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish Rusev won this match, but I'm also really happy that the United States won, or well, that John Cena took the victory. Then there was technically a filler match? It was Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis. I was excited to see Mike's WWE in-ring debut, but it was a little lackluster if I will admit. And Sami Zayn put on a good performance that night. So throughout this entire match, I just wasn't excited for it. And I'm actually kind of mad that Sami Zayn won. This match should have gone to Mike Kanellis making his debut, and it would have made him and Maria an even stronger heel. Well, I just hope there's a lot more going forward for Mike Kanellis and Maria. Then there was the main event, the Punjabi prison match 
featuring Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Obviously, with all the reaction videos to this match, my words just won't do it justice. And again, if you haven't checked out the video, make sure you go ahead and watch my reaction to the great Kali. So this match started off pretty predictable, that most of the match was gonna take place inside the ring, and that towards the very end, the last five to 10 minutes would have taken place outside. But I was actually kind of shocked when the Singh brothers jumped out from the bottom of the apron and started attacking Randy Orton. For some reason, I didn't see them getting involved from the, actually the inner part of the ring. I thought they were gonna come down from the entrance ramp. However, they made their presence known, but the Viper still held it down. But it wasn't long before we heard surprising entrance music. And although this entrance music was Jinder Mahal's, I personally knew that something was up WWE's sleeve. And sure enough, who came through that curtain? It was the return of the great Kali. And I've heard reports that the crowd was pretty dead, but being there live, the crowd went nuts when the great Kali came out from that curtain. And that was just so hyped up to record all the excitement that night. This match definitely didn't disappoint. And if you were there live, you would have felt the energy in the arena. And because of the help of the great Kali, Jinder Mahal retained his WWE Championship. So I wonder what WWE has planned now that the great Kali is back. But I guess we'll all have to watch to find out. Alright everyone, so that was my reaction and my review to Battleground 2017. And so my question to you is, do you guys have any reaction videos? If you do, drop it in the comments below because I would definitely love to watch it. And as always, Always, if you guys like this video, please consider sharing it. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time right here on all things WWE.